When Karrion Cross gets in the ring, he always seems confident that it's only a matter of time until he's standing over his opponent victorious. In Cross's mind, he's something of a human doomsday clock, just counting down the seconds until he delivers the obliteration of his victim. It's a ruthless mindset, but it's brought Karrion Cross plenty of success. Well, the clock is ticking on this match. We'll see if Cross is able to exact his apocalyptic plans in this one. But in the other corner is Pete Dunne. A competitor who's proven he's willing to do whatever it takes to accomplish his goals here in WWE. From the top, he misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Oh, look at mounting and now the oh. punch is hammering away. Ruthless. Superstar gonna do now. Higher the triangles and it's in. Oh, this is terrible. This is bad. In the triangle. Look at the power to break through. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Pete Dunn is widely regarded as a master technician. How quickly do you think he wants to take this battle down to the mat tonight? ASAP, Cole. Once Dunn gets his opponent down to the ground and starts tying him up with his vicious array of submission holds and joint locks, this thing could be all over. Pinpointing the leg, punishing the leg. Oh, that'll turn your skin red. And Cross evades that. Boom, right to the midsection. Done there, meaning an obstacle to overcome. I think Cross just advanced the count on the Doomsday Clock with that attack. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Elbows right to the forehead. One after another. opponent just like he's doing here taking his time oh my gosh that is so dangerous beat up he's going for the pen this could be it shoulder shoots up before two you expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match cross gets out of the way Corks a thunderous chop. Ice cold. This is gonna hurt. Cross with the doomsday say. Will this be enough? One, two. No, he gets the shoulder up. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Insulting. Done with a great counter. And a clothesline. Mr. Dunn's opponent is about to meet and that could finish Cross. Is it enough? One, the cover two. Oh, and he just kicked out. It was almost all over. Almost. 
almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. Pete Dunne is in a state of disbelief, pushed his opponent to the limit, but they still keep fighting. succumb to his choice of attack. Try not to fade. Delivers a harsh elbow. Arm ringer applied. Oh my goodness, that might have snapped a finger. Pete Dunne just a step too slow. What a forearm. Continuing to attack the neck. Oh, draped over the top rope. And he's able to counter. Oh, smashing the jaw. shaking off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. The bruiser weight is going to have a tough time punching his way back into this. Cross lining up his play. The cross jacket is locked in. It is cinched in deep. He's in complete control. Opponent has nowhere to go. Could be tap out time. A normal man would have submitted by now, but not him. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. Here is your winner, Karrion Cross. And with the results of this battle plain to see on their face, at least they can say they won the match. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers.